Experience is a good thing. But experience does not mean anything if you do not learn anything from them. And in order to learn something from your experience, you have to reflect on what you did, how you did it, and how it could have been improved. Alright, you have seen the title of the video. This reflective cycle was introduced by Professor Graham Gibbs in 1988. He provided a concrete step-by-step -step method that anyone can follow to reflect on whatever they have done to make better future decisions. There are six steps. The titles of the steps are Description, Feelings, Evaluation, Analysis, Conclusion and Action Plan. And let's talk about the steps one by one. Then later we will get into an example. The first one being description. Just describe what happened. No need to analyze anything over here. Just simply write down what happened. How did you work? How was the experience? And how did the end result turn out to be? That is it. Just the description of whatever you did. And then the next step is called feelings. No need to analyze too much in this stage as well. Here you should write down how you felt when you made certain decisions. No judgment. The feelings. How did you feel while performing whatever task you are performing? How did you feel before making decisions on that task? And how did you feel after completing this task? In a group setting, how did everybody else feel? It is not easy to find out how everyone felt like while working on some project. But you need to ask them how they felt. It is a necessary step for your future projects. You also need to find out how you feel while going through this reflective cycle as well. Time for step 3. And this step is called evaluation. There will be judgment. Not too much, a little bit. In this step, you need to point out what went well for you and what did not go well for you. There can be things you did well that can be repeated in the future. Was there any negative situation that you were able to solve before finishing the project? Or did something negative hinder the best outcome you were trying to get? Now, step 4. Analysis. This is where a lot of work is needed. You need to find out the why. All of the what questions have been answered. Now, what is the reason things did not go your way? There can be a lot of reasons for any single flaw in a project. And you need to carefully find out why something went wrong. In this step, you also need to find out previous references of similar issues. Whatever the issue you are facing, it is very much likely that someone else has faced the same issue or a similar issue before you. You can find out any academic references that talks about the problems you are facing and how to improve the situations. Then, conclusion. List down what you have learned from the entire process. How could you have improved upon the situations you have faced? What actions you could have taken to get better results? And what are the skills you are lacking that you can acquire that could have helped everyone in the situation? And the last step is your action plan. After the conclusion, you know about the things that you can do differently if you face the same problems again. So next time when you start another similar project, you will already have those pitfalls in mind and the skills you can probably develop should be developed before starting the next project. That is your action plan. 
action plan is for the next project. Example scenario. Let's talk about a marketing campaign. Marketing campaign for whatever product. Let's say you are creating a marketing campaign for a product you have launched. And you have planned to only put billboards and television ads. You are probably thinking that those channels were enough to reach your target consumers. And while promoting, you spent all of the money allocated for the promotion and you had to go a little over the budget. After running the promotional campaign, you have increased the overall sales of the product, but not by the number you expected to. That was your description stage. Feelings. You probably felt optimistic while launching your campaign. Maybe a little frustrated when money became the issue. Your team was not happy with you going over the budget. But still, you made it. There was still a little bit of profit. Evaluation. What was good? You were able to place your advertisements on your desired slots. That was good. But your handling of the budget was not that good and you were not able to bring in the number of customers you were actually hoping for. Now analyze. What happened? You were able to place ads on your desired slots without any trouble. Maybe because nobody is placing ads on that slot. Because maybe, just maybe, nobody is watching television at that time. Maybe most of your target customers are spending their time online. Your biggest mistake was not putting any ads online. How could you make such mistake? That would say that you did not do your market research properly and you do not even know your own target market that well. And for budget, you spent way too much on the TV and nothing online. You will need a proper balance in that. There are a lot of models that are helpful to find out and analyze target markets properly. That's the analysis. Conclusion Find out what you could have done better. What are the ways you could have managed your money better? Write that down. How you could have made it better for everybody. And how you could have found out more about your target consumers. For action plan? Well, study the market properly and invest in a marketing research agency that can help you find out more about your ideal customers. That is all. Remember, a bad experience should always be a learning experience. But that does not mean a good experience is just to be forgotten. You also need lessons from the good experiences as well. And that is all I am going to talk about this topic for now. If you have any questions about the video, you can ask below. I might answer it below or I might answer the question in a separate community post. You can like this video, share it with people that might find helpful information in the video or subscribe to the channel if you would want to watch future videos from the channel. I will be posting every Mondays and Thursdays for the entirety of 2021 if I am healthy and doing alright. You can also help me out on Patreon if you want to directly support the growth of this channel. If not, like, share, subscribe and even watching another video will be helping the overall growth of the channel. Alright, now a small bonus. Nobel Prize Physics 1908. The winner was Gabriel Lipman. He won the Nobel Prize for finding out a way to produce colored pictures. He did it in 1890s. Before that point, black and white photos were captured. But he was the one to produce color photos with the use of a phenomenon called interference. Physics 1908 And now, this is the official end of this video.
Thank you so much for watching if you are still watching. I'd like to remind you to take care of yourself. And I also hope you have learned something new today. Maybe I was able to help you to learn something new today. And lastly, goodbye for now.